Today I'm talking about two different ways of approaching generative design. I'm going to use the example of a house. You have a parcel, you want to fit a house inside that parcel, but you want to have it with like the largest area possible. There are two ways, but there are, might be others as well. The first one is called brute force. With brute force, you define the parameters. In this case, you have the position of the house and the dimension of the house, right? Those are your random parameters. The script is going to assign those random parameters multiple times, and then we're going to store them. At the end, once the script has been running for, let's say, 100 times, we are going to select all the options, all the outputs, and get the one with the largest area. And we're going to extract the position and the dimensions of those of the house for that specific option. Therefore, we're going to get an option with like the largest area inside these 100 options. The second way is called optimization. Optimization is a little bit different. In this case, instead of just generating random options that they don't relate to each other, what we're going to do is we're going to use in, we could use an engine called Galapagos, for example, that is, exists, it's a component that exists inside Grasshopper. But instead of creating random options, it's going to get the parameters that we need, which in this case are the position of the house and the dimensions of the house. And it's going to look for uh, optimization value. In this case, the optimization value is the area, right? We're going to try to maximize the area to get um, the house as large as possible. The script is going to then start to look for where these parameters make more sense, right? The position as well as the different dimensions of the of the house so that we don't get the largest house possible inside the parcel. 